Welcome to the Art Studios with Mrs. Perna and Mrs. DeGroot. Okay, today we are going to make a balloon dog inspired by Jeff Koons. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna hold our paper so it's horizontal in front of us. And we're gonna fill up our page with our dog. So we're gonna do lots of oval shapes. So the first thing that I'm gonna do towards the side of my page is I'm gonna start with the head of our dog. I'm gonna do a sideways oval. Okay, and then we're gonna add two curved lines for the ears. So watch, I'm gonna start by coming up and around. And then from that top piece, go around and down. So there it looks like my balloon dog ears. All right, then we're going to do a long letter U for the neck. Long letter U. And then right besides that, I'm gonna do an oval that comes off to the side. That's gonna be the start of his feet. Oval. And then I'm gonna do a line that comes over here and another curved line for an oval so it looks like it's behind it. I'm gonna do the same thing over here for his feet before I attach it to his body. So I'm gonna do another big oval, skinny oval. Then I'm gonna do another curve line that comes down and around like that. After I do that, I'm gonna do one more oval for the tail. And you're making all of your ovals about the same size. All right, so this one in the middle is gonna be longer now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start and I'm gonna connect the neck and the tail together do a curve line. Then I'm gonna come down, connect those feet. And then I'm gonna do like another curved line that comes over. And then we're gonna do the pieces where they're tied. So a little tiny curve line here. And then I'm gonna do another one for the tail. A little curve line right here. Okay, so that is the start of our balloon dog. Okay, now we are going to do the shading. We're gonna add value to our dogs. So we're going to do the light on the topmost pieces of our balloon. And then we are gonna do the dark on the bottom most. So it looks like the light is shining on them. So when we do this, we wanna make sure that we have a light, medium, and dark. So if I do that for my first piece, I'm gonna leave the top of my piece a little bit white with a crayon or you could do colored pencils too. I'm gonna to do a medium in the middle. So that means I'm pressing lightly with the crayon. And then I'm gonna do darker on the bottom. So now I'm pressing harder with the crayon. So what I'm doing is, is I'm creating value so it looks more 3D. So I have the light, which is my lightest spot, which is my white up here. Then I've got my medium, which is my middle. And then I've got my dark at the bottom. Okay, for the little pieces, you could just color them in. You don't have to worry about a light, medium, and dark for those. So the same thing here. I'm gonna make it like my light is coming from this side. So it's gonna come on the side of my ears right here. So I'm gonna do a light, I'm gonna do a medium, and I'm gonna do my dark. And you can see how it looks different. So light, medium, dark. Same thing for my other one, light, medium and dark okay and then i'm going to do the same thing for my other pieces if you want to block off where all of your light is going to be first you can draw a little line on the top of your pieces so i'm going to do a little line i'm going to do a little line on the tops of my feet a little line a line and do little lines on the back 
I'm gonna move the line here. Okay, so then I know how I'm gonna color each of my pieces. So my if my white starts here, then my middle is gonna be a little bit darker and then the bottom piece is gonna be darkest. So then this way you have those three values in each of your pieces. And then after you do that, you can decide what you wanna put in your background. So you could do like a striped background, you could do different colors, you could do different shapes, you could draw more balloons. If you wanted to try to draw another different balloon animal, you could do that as well.